Hey guys, what's up? Vincent Vendetta here with another video for you guys. Um, I just got off work, uh, hence the scrubs. And tomorrow is Friday, which means that the new secret dungeon comes out, the Fire Bounty Hunter, Randy. So I'm going to show him what he, got, what he can do for you guys. Um, do a quick review on him. And then I also want to do a quick show. I want to pair him with Copper, which is the monster he's seen most commonly with. Randy Copper is a very... Uh, common thing that you see uh, we'll play with them a little bit and probably do an arena match just to show you the potential and that uh, should be it so let's get started we'll go ahead and i have uh, a randy of my own but we're going to be using my uh my guildmates randy much better ruined and um fully skilled up and it's actually leveled all the way to six stars so thank you franger for um putting runes on them and making them your rep for me to use today i appreciate that so let's see, we got our first skill, Bullseye, shoots two precise shots that are aimed for the enemy's weak spots. Each hit has a 25% chance to ignore the enemy's defense. Um, it's pretty RNG based, if it ignores the defense it could hit for a lot, otherwise it's just kind of a basic standard attack. Second attack is Chain Fire, attacks the enemy with two arrows and attacks again with a 30% chance. This thing can go nuts. Um, we're only going to use them probably once or twice, so we might not get to see it. But it, it's kind of like Rauk's first skill, where when it does proc, it procs a ton. Um, and you can see it hit for 6, 8, 10. I've seen it go for like 14 times. It's ridiculous, the potential of the ability. And then its third skill is just the buff. It increases the critical rate and defense of all allies for three turns. Uh, and it's on a four turn cooldown. So it's, it's a really good buff, um, but not many monsters need the critical rate and the defense buff. Um, except for monsters like Copper, who are defense attack based monsters, where uh, their damage goes up as their defense goes up. And um, Copper's third skill has the potential to ignore defense as well, um, if his defense is 50% higher than the enemy's defense, which happens pretty often when you build him as a defense uh, type monster. So we're going to pair those two, but first let's take a look at uh, Randy. By himself, we'll take him into a scenario dungeon. I'm going to take him with. Um, Galleon. Let's see. We'll take him with Galleon. Just because I want you to see his potential damage on his own. Um, even though that's not his main use. Oh, we're going to take, uh, take our friends. Because uh, mine won't do that much damage. So we'll look at his runes real quick. He's got him on Violent Blade. Uh, let's see. We got attack percent, crit damage attack, I'm assuming. So attack, crit damage, attack, uh, basic um, attacker build here. And he's got him on violin because if, if he can use his first and second move a lot, um, just the chances for those abilities to proc becomes greater and the better chance he has for doing good. So we'll take him in here with my galleon. And I don't think he's got a leader. No. Oops. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. So he's got an attack speed leader for guild battles. Um, I would take him and do our guild battles right now, but mine is not very good, and this is a really tough guild battle, so we'll take him into the scenario, we'll pair him with Copper, we'll do an arena match, kind of just to show you how they work together and their damage, um, and then I'm going to talk about Immensity at the end of that video, so let's get started with this. I'll put it on uh, one speed here, hopefully I can pause it real quick. Alright, already paused, perfect. So we're gonna time to loot. Galleon. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, we're gonna start with his second skill. This is the one that has the chance to absolutely go nuts, but it is, you know, just a chance. So we might not see it here with the one run that we have with uh, my friends Randy. So let's see. So 10,000 damage basic attack. And that was only the two hits. Um, and it has the chance to hit multiple times. Like I said, it can hit eight up to eight, ten. There's no cap on it. It can literally keep going. And I've seen it hit for a ton. So, if it did say it went nuts and it hit ten times, um, that's fifty thousand damage with the second skill. That's on a two turn cooldown. And yes, that's all RNG based. But this his whole premise is pretty much RNG based. Um, that's why you need to pair him with somebody like Copper to get a, a consistent um, consistent work out of him. So let's see. Okay, we'll do our, our first attack. We'll see if we can ignore defense on one of these units. All right, no ignore defense, but still 10,000 there for another basic attack. It hits twice, about 5,000 each hit, and uh, 
no no defense back there still none there none there so you could see um you can't you can't take him in relying on those factors he can you know in the in a certain situation just absolutely blow somebody up but it's too rng based that's why it's good to take him with somebody like hopper and i'll show you that after this but i want to see if we can get a good proc on a second skill let's see if we get lucky here no again okay all right well we got a couple more chances at that to see if we can get something good going on maybe an ignore defense on his first skill here no, but about 15,000 for skill with defense break and attack buff, so he, he can do a decent amount of damage, but we want to see those props, so come on, last chance. Everybody gets one. Everybody gets one, come on. Let's see it. Go nuts. Go nuts. No. All right. Well, we'll see. We haven't even got, I don't think, an ignore defense yet on his first skill, so let's try. Come on. Give me an ignore defense. Boom. No, wow. These procs are just not happening today. I'm sorry, guys. But uh, we'll, hopefully we'll get another chance to, to show you in the arena battle. Come on. Last chance. Chain lightning. Do your work. Uh, okay, it only procced one time, but it did hit the extra two times. Um, not super exciting, I know. I know. But we'll see. So that's that's kind of his damage potential with the attack break. and Or, I'm sorry, the attack buff and the defense break. Um, but again, that's not his main use. It's good to pair him up with uh, a reliable damage dealer. So let's see what we have in here. And mind you, I mean, this isn't like crazy hard arena or anything like that. Let's see. We should be able to do this here. We're taking the Fire Panda, which is a fusible um, for the defense lead to help Copper out. And we're going to take Randy, my Randy, which has horrible runes. I'll click through him real quick. Yes, he's on Vampire. It's literally everything I just had lying around. Um, nothing too crazy. I just need him to be faster than my Copper uh, to get that defense buff. So, defense leader, defense buff and crit rate buff from Randy. And then Bella's just going to defense break and Copper's going to nuke somebody. So, let's go ahead and show that real quick. Hopefully this works out. Like I said, my Randy, he's... He's something else. He's not ruined for anything good, but we'll, we'll try it out. Let's see, we'll get a defense break on Veramos. They're all going to get to move. Hopefully they don't stun. Oh, they stunned Randy. Why you stun Randy? Let's see, we'll, we'll get one of these off. I didn't want to use his skill just yet. I want to... Uh, get the defense buff and the crit rate buff. So we'll try to just we'll try to just stun. This is his first skill, Copper's first skill. About ten thousand default. Not bad. For especially you know for a tanky monster, he's built to be tanky, so it's not not too bad. And Co Randy should get to go here in a second. There it is. All right, so we'll get the defense buff, crit rate buff. So now Copper here is going to hit like a truck and. I don't know if I've said it, but Copper's the wind, um, the wind something that I cannot think of at the moment. Oh my, God. living armor. Thank you, Jesus. He's the wind living armor. I mean, he's a defense-based monster and he ignores defense. Natural three star, natural three star, natural three star, feasible. Easily attainable team right here. See, come on. Take it forever for these guys to get a chance to go. Alright, Veramos is dead. We're gonna ignore defense here, especially because Veramos is already defense broken. So let's just see. 37,000. That's not too bad. Okay, let's see if we can get a good proc. Let's see if we can get a good proc on Randy's second skill. Ah, just two. Just two. Okay. Well, at least it's actually proccing at least once this time. But nothing too crazy. I don't. We haven't even seen his ignore defense yet. So hopefully we'll get that before this match is over. Let's try to speed back up. Make this a faster. Come on, ignore defense. Not. No, really. That's that's surprising to me that we we've attacked that many times and haven't seen an ignore defense on Randy's first skill. 
moving. Keep it moving. Come on, ignore defense. Come on. Alright. We'll get a stun. Defense break. I'm calling it. Randy's gonna go nuts and kill this guy. Oh, copper might do it. No, okay. Come on. If Randy ever gets a chance to move. Alright, here we go. Randy, this is all you. This is what you're made to do. Kill it. Alright. Alright, guys, Randy's sucking today. But that's why, point in case, that's why you don't bring him as a damage dealer by himself. There we go. Our first ignore defense on the first skill. Uh, did a 5,500 um, with ignore defense. I'm not sure if that crit or not because we were hitting about 5,000 prior with the crits. Oh, that was with the tech buff. So 5,000 with just a defense break on the ignore defense. Let's see. I guess that doesn't make much sense. Does the defense break on ignore defense? If the defense broken and you're ignoring defense, that doesn't do any extra damage. It just ignores the defense. Um, all right, let's let's kill her. We'll remove this, and then we could use Copper's third skill, killer, and that's game. Thirty-eight thousand. So with a with a well ruined Copper and a defense lead, he can hit anywhere from thirty to forty thousand. A really well ruined Copper can hit up to fifty thousand, uh, depending on your towers and runes. Um, so very, very good unit. Very good com combination to use. Um, another monster that I just want to quickly show you is Amesity. And this is the Wind Horse. I didn't go in depth on it because Randy is just as good of an option. Um, and everybody's going to have access to him this weekend. Uh, but Amesity, Amesity does the same thing that Randy does with the third skill. Increases the defense and critical rate of all allies. But it also fills up a target's ally, target ally's attack bar, kind of like Konamiya when he resurges, gives somebody an extra turn right away. Um, this is really good because you can build your copper really, really slow, focus all on that defense and crit rate and crit damage. As you can see, mine only has plus 10 speed. And you pair it with Amesity, and as long as Amesity Amesity's fast enough, he's going to give him the turn. So you don't have to worry about copper dying before he actually even gets a chance to move. So... Um, Really good pair there. If you can't do Amesity and Copper, do Randy and Copper. Both of these are three stars. Very easy to farm. You can pair it with Bella. You can use the uh, Panda as a leader skill. All easily obtainable. And for people that are struggling, that are free to play, you know, if you don't get good Nat 4s or Nat 5s, then it's definitely a strong um, combo to go with. Especially in guild battles when there's only three enemies. You're guaranteed on turn run, turn one that you're gonna kill somebody. So it's gonna be a three v two off the start um, when you bring Copper and you can bring him with Randy or Messity. So uh, definitely recommend building it. As far as Randy goes for this weekend, I would say it's worth um, building. Get enough to fully skill him up if you can. Um, at least just keep him lying around if you don't get a Messity. Uh, definitely a good pair with. Uh, copper there but like i said he he's not a reliable damage dealer on his own because his skills are just too rng based I, out of probably 15 20 you know hits on his first skill only one of them actually ignored defense and on the second skill we've only seen it proc once or twice and even then it only proc once it didn't go crazy so very rng based on his first and second skill very good buffer on his third skill for copper and defense based units so uh, i'd recommend you at least skill him up if anything, uh, don't let it go by because he can definitely be usable. Maybe not right now where you're at in the game, but definitely at some point and definitely a good combo with copper. So I uh, hope you guys like the video. If you have any questions, you can email me up above. My email's right there, ggvinnyvendetta at gmail.com. Uh, it looks like it's cut off a little bit. I'll have to fix that. Um, I'll have it in the description as well, though. And feel free to like the video, subscribe, leave comments below if you have questions, if you have other content ideas or someone that you want to see reviewed. Um, I can get access to most monsters that you need. So, um, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned for another one tomorrow. Thank you, guys.